Killer Killer Podcast. Killer Killer Official Com. <laughs> THTC, the UK's leading ethical streetwear label. Organically grown and ethically built garments from hemp, organic cotton, and other sustainable materials. 2019 is their 20th anniversary year. Join me with THTC as a Killer Killer podcast sponsor celebrating music, social activism, hemp, and street culture. THTC, eco fashion redefined since 1999. Come on, ma, please. Sorry, this part of fighting is. We love food for just the hit pointing Oh look, oh no, watch them burn them brain out For a bit of the follow Killer Calla Fortified featuring Patuan Available on all good music platforms now AG Dentistry In my line of work, not only does what I do with the mouth get reviewed It's also my instrument And it's beyond important to me that my teeth get the professional service they deserve The AG family provide expert dentistry, whether it's NHS or cosmetic. They're the finest in London. Head over to agdentistry.co.uk for more information on treatments and prices. AG Dentistry. Beatbox created. And we're here to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Coward Podcast. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, live and direct from central London or as central as you need to be, Killer Keller Podcast. Subscribe, like, comment, do not sleep, I repeat, do not sleep on my repeat, live and direct and uh, inside the house. Long standing friend of mine for a minute, seen him come up through the ranks from very early days. He, he, he won't go quietly and he's going to keep on binge and purging the, the world. Man, Pete Box inside the house. Hello. What's up, bro? How are you? Yeah, very good, man. Very good. Ready? Ready to chat? Ready to chat? Ready yeah. Ready to chew the fat? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, we got a lot of fat to chew. Yeah. <laughs> to say like, the Like-minded <laughs> fat, yeah. <laughs> Where you come from? Uh, I'm living in Tottenham yeah. right now, yeah. Serves you right. Converted <laughs> warehouse, mate. I'm loving it, bro. Community. That these, these converted warehouses, you live in with 10, 15 people and ours is... Nice, oh, for you real? know, it's clean. I manage it. So. For real? So, but yeah. it, it, they're like live work spaces, you know, and like, so it, you get this beautiful community of people working on their stuff and you're like friends and it's enriching, bro, in London. That's very few and far between you hear of like stories where in a place like, for instance, Tottenham, with all due respect, big up my Tottenham crew, I lived there for like four years or something. So it's yeah. like, I, I know the area <laughs> well. Um, and sometimes there can often feel like there's a dark cl- cloud that, that unfortunately, just no matter what the community spirit is, no matter what the council do, often it just it kind of masks the, yeah, yeah. the community's vibe sometimes. Yeah, well, it does. And it, so often, I think with in London, my experience of I'm from Nottingham, I mean, mm. I've moved in, there's a little, there's something that rubs off that seems to be this kind of neighbor neighbourly thing. People don't have that kind of, you know, you might move somewhere and knock next door and mm. there's like a bit of like, yo, what are you doing? Why are you in my space? You mm. know? I think just because there's so many people and a, a changing crowd, what with the renting kind of mentality now. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I've lived in a lot of places in London where it's just sort of hard to really engage with mm. people, which is fair enough. It's not, no bad on them. It's just mm. they're changing faces. But I found a place, you know, yeah. home community and it's, it's surprisingly powerful yeah when you engage yeah, with that you know absolutely and i would agree with you i think a lot of uh, boroughs of london suffer that a lot of cities in general not yeah just, exactly not that's what Tottenham, it is you know, it's just busy hustle bustle just yeah. like endless faces endless streams and yeah. you know so when you've got like a bunch of community yeah, yeah goers are all in the same exactly spot. and also you know we roll out it's like back in school <laughs> there's like we're going out and someone's got a gig or whatever there's like 10 of us on a bus yes, and there's something a bit special about <laughs> That, you know what I mean, we're all passing around like a bottle of like I don't know, you know, booze or whatever. And it's just there's something really like an yeah. energy. It's like yeah, I'm with my homies. That's you know? awesome, yeah. dude. It's I nice. miss that. I miss that. Yeah. There's a lot of camaraderie in those exactly. kind of environments. Exactly, yeah. man. Yeah. So you must be privy to like be chopping up with X Y Z somebody, that, and you must like take a lot of, I could, not influence, but you must. You must feed each other quite a lot within those spaces as well. Yeah, you, you do. Just just for the fact that, like, it's certainly in like we're in ours. You know, there's a few studios and like there's like photographers and stuff, and it's just kind of at the point where we're all hustling our 
our shit, you know what I mean? Mm. We're hustling our stuff, so people are kind of doing well. Not, not that that's not like the thing to value, you know. People are just working hard yeah. and being in that environment where people are literally coming in yeah. to make some stuff. You're like, oh, well, I'm gonna make some stuff. You know, you're hearing someone working on something all day. It pushes you to do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like the chats you have, and there's a, there is definitely an energy about it. That, push each other you know that's an interesting thought i wonder how much of like i mean i think i do it i know i do it i mean you've always got like a kind of mental uh uh peer in mind when you're doing something creative but i wonder how many of us just strike because we know oh okay let me see if blah, 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 like this well, like yeah, right, right, yeah yeah i i can't uh, for me in terms of creating stuff i have no idea Mm. Of any end result or anything, but no, I said my, my influence was, a, for instance, was a more general, like as in, or like just like not momentary. Uh, I see. Do you know what I mean? So it's more in tank, intrinsic in what you're. Yeah, you're one, bro. Oh, thank come you. on, mate, <laughs> killer Keller, killer <laughs> Keller. But no, do you know what I mean? Killer Keller podcast. We're going to yeah, we're only dealing with it. the VIP guests as well. <laughs> Let's just break it down for a second because we need to fill people in on, on yeah. the real the details of the peat box. Peat box comes from Nottingham, as mentioned, and like my dude is like seminal beat boxer. I'm um, hitting the hitting the stages more so stage. I mean, I've noticed a lot more uh, activity from you than most beatboxers in terms of garnering your own audience and getting yeah, out man. there on a live level. Yeah, for real. Like I, I don't know many people are out there doing it so. Like nah, battering it outside of outside of the scene as well, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Well, what what I did, I because I I play a lot of instruments and everything like that. I made an album, my first album, Future mm. Loops, and I was like, I made one video. Right. I did a cover of "Where Is My Mind" by the Pixies, and before then, I felt like two different like musicians, two different performers, because I come from like you know I'm like Nirvana inspired. Mm. Heard Nirvana, my life has changed because I was like, I want to make music, you know. Mm. First, I mean, it was already Den stuff, but I poured, I learned every song, and and then a few years later, comes you know, come into contact with you, just like, who's this <laughs> dude? what is this thing? Um, and I'm asshole, <laughs> trying to no. swing me off some. Well, I, I've got more to say on you in a bit, <laughs> but um, yeah, and all of a sudden I'm beatboxing, and mm. I'm suddenly, you know, you're playing, I'm playing acoustic nights, but then I'm beatboxing at the end, and everyone's like, ah. Oh, and then I'm getting booked for club shows mm. and I'm going like this, you know, still doing my grunge, my post rock and then my beatboxing, techno clubs, house clubs, hip hop clubs. And um, yeah, first time I put them together, I did a cover of Where's My Mind by the Pixies. That's sick. Mate, but, That's a tune. but bro, check. But I had no plans before then on YouTube. It was like I had 20,000 views for a video that had been up for two years kind of mm -hmm. thing. I put this up. Think genuinely thinking, oh, I, I, no one will hear it yeah, yeah. <laughs> for a start but anyway it went viral man mega viral the Pixies posted it it's on I think it's still on their website bro what? the Pixies they Facebooked it I was getting like what Mark Hoppers from Bing 182 was what? yeah and I was like and I'd been I'd been recording a lot of music and playing around with beatboxing a lot of time on record and I was like this is how I do it because it's live one shot with my loop pedals mm. filmed by my mate Simon Ellis, who's a brilliant director. Um, it, it, something about him, it just looks beautiful. It's one camera, but it's, yeah. and it's in his kitchen, it's beautiful. And I was like, this is how my, I'm going to do my album. Yeah. In, so it's, it's a live loop pedal, like a visual video album, um, all in one take. Every, every track is one take in different kind of in studio created environments. Yeah. So what, it's like a turnaround of different sets? So, so I'm, I might be one day outside, but man, I went in on the production because it's only two track out of my loop pedal, yeah. I would have three different microphones with three different compressors and different EQ chains, different effects going into my loop pedal. So I have as much control going in. Mm. And then so it's just a left and right out. But I would create, you know, oh. just a, a little simple setup. But I was like, a bit sensible. I was like, wrong. Right, half covers half my track. And I'm, here's what I'm getting to the shows is the track by track, they all started going viral. Yeah. And yeah. so, like, um, over 30 million views, you know. And, like, that's where... That's so s smart and so quick. Yeah, man. And, like, you know, you sell us a lot of records and stuff. But that that's what... F it's, 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 you must know this. Like, you, there's this frustrating experience you have where you, you can't really get shows, big shows. You can't really go and ask for them as such. Mm. You just kind of have to be 
invited. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, you can do them, you know, but still, but it, it's having that strong, it's that album that, that is the reason why I tour the world, you know, and play festival, headline festivals and stuff, because it's, you know, it just takes a promoter in Lithuania to see you who yeah. likes a video you go and you smash the festival and you get back back and back and you yeah, build yeah. a fan base and do you feel like the, that's, the, that's it that's why do you feel like there's a pressure like with um with touring off the of back of an album to like okay I've got to go back to the studio and write another one well no, I I didn't pay any attention to it mm. I, 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 I just didn't take that on because like well it took me four years to make my new record but that was a fear of... of Which just... is badass, by the way. <laughs> Which Thank is you. sick. Yeah. But, but that was just a fear of it being good or not, you know? Yeah. Um, but the, the, the longevity of the, these, like, viral videos and stuff, it's, you know, it's been a, a long run. Do you mm. know what I mean? You, you, you feel it waning, you feel it changing, but at the same time, man, you know, you turn up to every show and you smash it. There's knock-on effects that happen when you do yeah. that. Do you know what I mean? You you never take your eye off the ball. Uh, you know you don't go. Well, I'm being booked for this show. Sick, no matter what. Yeah. You're like oh, cool, I can relax. You know, yeah. you go in there and you f nail it. Yeah. You nail it. You nail it. You you affect everyone in that room as hard as you can. You affect the promoter who it's different even when they see you live. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, and you develop relationships and you kind of hustle and you work and like that's that's how I've built this world outside and then the, the other thing is it's beatboxing but it's songs yeah it's music it, it's not I mean, beatboxing is music but yeah. it, it's it's songs and what i that's what i want to do anyway but songs are the things that connect with sort of fan they generate yeah, yeah. fans more yeah. i think than the skill set and more than virality it's like they yeah, stay yeah. in your exactly yeah they? yeah yeah um do you i mean i certainly do but you're your take on it, like you say, you've kind of adapted. You, you let both things move at the same simultaneously. So there is the human impact and the interest, the virality of the beatbox. Yeah. Then there's the music. Y yeah. Did, have you seen a change in attitude towards virality of beatboxing over the years? The pop, more popular it's well, got? Well, it, it, it getting just like those videos that get kind of the exposure yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. You mean like. It's and why people make. Yeah. Certainly. Yeah. It's got really slick, mm. like a lot of the be a lot of the beatboxes now. That man, like for me, I look at their arrangements. So this isn't like a, but like you know, I'm like, oh god, like these amazing pop arrangements and mm. of these reinterpretations of tunes. But there's a lot of times where stuff is getting recorded before, and it's sort of like the the loop pedal is almost a, a tool. Mm. But what this means is the most, the slickest sounding, like mm. incredible sounding videos. And they're the ones that, yeah, like are sticking out and kind of because that's what people are used to hearing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. These kind of slick, like super auto tuned productions and things like that um, are the sound sonic palette mm. of the time. They're def they're the kind of the easier, not easier, very difficult, but like the kind of more obvious routes. They're the mm. ones that are going viral. But I mean, I'm I'm now locked into the beatbox scene, bro. Yeah, no. Like, I, I, in a way, I'm you think a long before. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, engage like watching what these yeah. like mm. new covers, you know, what these young <laughs> lads and ladies are doing. Um, and these these video, it's just skill, skill. Like I, I chat to them and they they train. Mm. I've never thought of I've never thought of training. Do you know what yeah. I mean? It's like you rehearse and. They train, man. They train and they collaborate and they're coming to, well, they share. Mm. And so now, yeah, you, within this scene, it's it's blowing up, man. And all these videos, because of the kind of intricacies and the skill set, you know, they are, that is what's kind of driving these bigger videos. Mm. It's like, what is this human doing? As as we've always know, yeah. known, but there's like a new kind of wave of like just out there ability. Yeah, there's like, a, I mean? yeah, absolutely. Um, We'll get onto that question I wanted to ask is what I'm not gonna ask you if you like that pre recorded thing or not. I'm gonna change the question around a bit. If you were coming up now in between twenty fifteen and twenty nineteen, mm. would you have gone down that route? Mate, first of all, you know, I'm still going and I feel like I'm only just starting. I don't I yeah. don't feel like any like Yeah, you're not feeling any which way. No, nah, mm -hmm. but um I don't. I just, just not my, not my vibe mm. at all. Mm. Just like in terms of, I, I don't know. I, it doesn't fit for me. It's, it's like you're making a, mu a music video or 
or you're doing a live video. Do mm. you know what I mean? Um, or you're making a music song. Yes, exactly. Okay. But 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 however, I fully understand it and I fully embrace it. There's like it's it's not just in beatboxing; it's the YouTube culture. Yeah. That's what it is. Mm. And it's been, musicians have been doing this for years and years. Mm. And the fact is, if you want to sound that good, that's what you do. And it's okay. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong. Again, I look deeper than that. I'm like, holy crap, like this arrangement and this actual performance yeah, on right. record yeah. is yeah. amazing. Yeah. The video looks sick, you know, and it's, it, what, what that is, is playing a game on YouTube and it's actually very clever. Yeah. Um, it's just not not my, my vibe and I've just been lucky enough whereby I get, like, my, my, my dude, I, I listen to that Where's My Mind video. Mm. And because that was the first one I did like four months before I even started the album, mm. it sounds like, like, it's just my guitar plugged into my loop pedal. Mm. There ain't no compressors, no, nothing. Mm. And it for me, it sounds so like, just like basically recorded and stuff. Um, but that's what worked for me and I'm lucky because I think people feel for me it's like that emotive kind of thing you know I'm, I'm like well into it you know I, I sing the fuck into it yeah. um, and I'm, I'm lucky that that's that's what works and it, it, it's like a sad state of affairs I think if you if you then see what other people are doing and sort of redefine your kind of look to yeah. fall in line in line with something <laughs> you know um, but also probably a luxury you know if if mm. if I feel the freedom to carry yeah. on, but oh, I you know, see what you're saying. Way, yeah, I get you. Saying, yeah, like, yeah. So there is this level of uh, uh, freedom within your creativity. I feel, if I feel you can that, do that, yeah. if you want. But y yeah, yeah, I hear what you're saying. Um, I'd be lying if at any stage I thought to myself, "Oh, they're doing that." Um, well, because everything it's funny because everything that is beatboxing by default. If you've got like a a, 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 pl a palette from top to bottom of sounds you can do, top being the real basic, bottom being really hard. And each one is a piece of a sound library that at some point they're going to cross. Yeah. So when you hear these um, new new art, new beatboxers doing new things, yeah. I immediately can work out, oh, I know how they're doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I've done it and I've got the I've got the template. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, it's it's a question of uh, do, I, do I do it? Like... You know what yeah, I mean? no, dude, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> the... No, yeah, and are, are you going to go down that route of like sort of doing that trick and that, yeah. Because yeah. what's, what's the end goal? Like, what, exactly, you know? and what, what motivates you as well? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Why do you do it? Why did you, why have you ever done it? Do yeah. you know what I mean? I've never really, I've never really gone out to uh, imitate other beatboxers. Yeah, yeah. That's quite a... Yeah, yeah. It's incestuous. Yeah, but you're but you're like <laughs> you're the like the 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 first fucking rung. <laughs> so you, like everybody, you know, pivoted from you. Which way? Well, yeah, they don't so know that because like whenever I did like when I do something new now, they're like, "What's that? Who's this?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, like, yeah it's almost yeah. like they don't know what. The, nah, so. but that's the thing. There's there's the core. There's the you're there. Do you know what I mean? Everybody else is branching off mm. from from like you and Razel, isn't it? Yeah, man, for that time. Yeah, I think so. Um, really? I, I mean, Razel to me is, he's older, but but then at the same time, he came over with a purpose and, and it he was really impacted. The, exactly, yeah. I think yeah. it was that sort of album. It was like, kind of, like, was, created a lot of awareness as yeah. well. Do you know what I mean? Became a benchmark, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. It certainly did with me. Um, you know, the things that he was doing at that time with... You know, it was like patting your head and rubbing your stomach to some of the things he was doing with his mouth, and it's just like, what? Yeah, but you're doing the same thing. Yeah. I'm a <laughs> slave. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, yeah, you're, you're doing that shit. You're like, true, true. But, 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 you, but you were, what, what, at the time, when I was, I was like, oh my God, like these, they're kind of different, um, well, different countries, you know what I mean? I was like, I, I was sort of, I got the Brazil thing, um, album, and then I was like, I could actually come and see you a lot. Mm. And uh, I was just like, the, you guys, and then my girlfriend, when I first discovered you, my girlfriend at the time, she made me all, got all these like underground recordings and stuff of you. Super old school. I said, pew, cassette, the pew, Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like that, like really like, I was just like, you know, mine. But when I was, that, then when I'm starting to like, my brain's kicking in. I'm sort of trying to work out how the fuck are you doing this stuff. I'm like, oh my god, these you know two guys who for me I was you know watching them up, were generating these things independently yeah, of each was, other. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You sounded so different, uh, so so different, and yet like 
inexplicably kind of high. Like, yeah, thank you. Impossible. I really, I really coming for me. I, repre- I really appreciate that oh, um, so because. Yeah, I've always ever seen it like as an organism and things like... It's, yeah, yeah, right. It's an athletic sport and, yeah. you know, we all win, some we lose, you know. Um, and when you when you get the opportunity to pass the baton on and people kind of... That resonates what's happened and, mm. okay, well, I got I can add this. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah. You know? totally Inspiring man. people. That's yeah. it. Um, with uh, the competition side of, like, beatboxing and where yeah. it's at... Um, it kind of takes away slightly the musicality, as you were saying. It's uh, it becomes a different thing. Mm. Now, it doesn't mean it's a bad thing or whatever. Yeah, yeah. This is just an observation. You understand, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Do not think for a second that this is going down a rocky road. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. It's one of those things, isn't it? Where um, if you ain't representing yourself the way you best want your sound, your music to reflect. Yeah. Yeah. Getting on. I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't jump so thoughtlessly into a battle without yeah. looking at what is integral to my creative yeah level. absolutely but like i feel like you probably wouldn't jump into a battle essentially because of that like and i wouldn't any anymore and like you look at now again like i'm, I'm i follow all these beatboxes i'm fascinated by it mm, absolutely. <clears throat> and uh because of the sharing now and the coming together of people in 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 the scene from around the world mm. and this like developing skill set and people being inspired by you know there's there's beat there's kids who become beatboxes because they hear someone do the fastest thing in the world ever mm-hmm. um and you get this kind of this, this is a new concept for me this like chat in uh, in the battle kind of circuit of kind of learning and working on my musicality which mm. for me is a complete new concept because i beatboxing is another instrument to me mm. that's that's what it is it's not like you know obviously i was fascinated with that poured hours and hours and days and weeks and months and years into developing my the mechanics but it's just another way it's like as i play guitar yeah. as i sing as i play drums gotcha. these are a means to an end i don't like sitting on my guitar and going like <laughs> like i hate i've never ever wanted to do that mm-hmm. i play three chords and it makes my heart Mm. feel weird sort of thing you know mm-hmm. um so beatboxing for me that's my motivation for doing it and but you have a whole generation now of people who are kind of just they they're so i mean i think everybody is first inspired by the mechanics and amazement of beatboxing but like the, because the world now is so strong like these huge names in beatboxing mainly play their shows at the beatbox events yeah that's there's it there's not many around like uh, and things are outside that um, and they're like stars, you know, and they've got 100,000 followers and stuff. And you realise it's all like the scene. Yeah. And so you get, that's that's what's now inspiring, like, you know, a whole bunch of people just, and it's, they jump on to get good and then to get better and to get yeah. faster, you know. That's a great way of putting approach. it. That's such a good way of putting it. Yeah. There's the sheer athleticism to yeah. it. But, yeah, yeah. And there's a, there's a, uh, there's a circuit for that now. Yeah, yeah. Where there wasn't it's, before, and it's man. massive. Yeah. It's like, it's huge, like, the... And there's, you know, there's the players, Swiss beatbox and people like that that have just, like, really done, like, our Papone, he's, like, he's, he's just a champion of... Yeah, he's slandered. He, he cares yeah, he about beatboxing. Yeah, yeah, he does, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And that's why he's And he knows his shit as well, he knows. He knows, man, He yeah. knows everything. Yeah, and he yeah. still cares, like, about people, like, you know, his, his approach is, like, you know, use our platform, it's gone so big and stuff, mm. and it's not exclusive to big well-known beatboxing still yeah. every day just new new stuff yeah people you know and that's a wonderful like approach i think mm, and it's like so. it's pushing you know it's connecting and that that's what's driving this skill set rise yeah. you know yeah <laughs> and the new media is like really it, like you say it's, it's quick it's yeah. short videos and it's boom, just boom, like boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah and like some of these new cats are coming through that do the why should they care who was the first person to do us? A... Yeah, it's too, just too far removed, it's isn't it? It's too far removed. Yeah. Do you think, do you think that <laughs> Chinese beatbox champion don't give that, a don't give a shit? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, it's exactly. Well, like, yeah, because, but I mean, it's, you know, you, you're, you're defined by your immediate world a lot of the time. Do you know what I mean? And if, mm. if like, there's no reason to look too far back sort of thing. No, you know? there but isn't. I'm, I'm the same, like, I wasn't listening to old, old cats, mm. really. It was just like, well, because... There was for me. There was just like you know before. You have to salute to the, you know yeah. everybody along the line. But like there was just you know 
for me, no need to go any further back because what you and Marzell were doing was just like, it, for me, it was a whole yeah, other world. Dude, actually, you're it right. It was just another world. It yeah. was another thing. It was like a, another... F- it was like, oh, you know, I, I would have heard those guys and been like, oh, yeah, very interesting, very cool. Yeah. Then you guys like... You, Killer Keller. <laughs> sometimes a human is involved, you know, sometimes, like, you're influenced by something which just is a pivot point into a new direction, do you know what I mean? Mm, yeah. And you're one of them. Sometimes as a human, it might be a teacher... A, a, a poet, you know, a writer or something like that. And you're one, like, individually for me yeah. because it was... I didn't just hear you making some crazy sounds. It was, like, your shows and the composition and, like, it was a whole new world to me, do you yeah. know what I mean? Which, like, you know, I'd heard beatboxing before. Yeah, no. My cousin came home from... He was he was he's annoyed at me for saying that I was like you, you but... He's like, oh, I came out. He came out from um, Cornwall. He'd lived there for years, and he was like, "I've got this new thing." Like, he's <laughs> like, "Yeah, it's cool, man. <laughs> Wicked." So I'd heard it before, but then it's just, you know, what yeah. is it? It's something deeper and and bigger that actually kind of hits you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think so. I'm the same as you. I'm I'm <clears> like <throat> I'm entrenched with like my feed on Instagram. Just I, you know, you know when you start. Going down a rabbit hole Wait, of beatboxing. Next yeah, thing yeah. your feed is like Jesus clunk, 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 yeah, with loads yeah, yeah. of it. And you know, I love it. I love the I love the fact that I'm learning. <clears throat> yeah, no, yeah. You know, absolutely. I am feeling that again as well. You know? I, I, I haven't felt that for a long time. Yeah. But I'm like, uh, do you, I don't know if you feel I don't practice. I, I can't I don't know what it is about my, my brain. As in I I'll rehearse, I'll play I'll, I'm re- recording endlessly. Mm. But I don't. I've yeah. tried it. I've lasted like three days of like thirty minutes of yeah. a metronome, I'm like <laughs> whatever. Yeah. I just I can't. I don't know why. It's just not the way my brain works. Yeah. Um, I'm ve- I'm not very much like that. However, I, I've I do stuff that I, I never thought I could do. Yeah, yeah. Like I am just this by giving it. like fifteen minutes of your time. Well, no, just no. Just as in, I'll be walking along or I'll be hanging out with like you know Ballsy or mm. Reeps and stuff, and they're doing something, and I'm like, I'll just do something. I'm like, well, I don't know. Could do that. I totally it, it, did. It's, it's me sort of too. infusing within yeah, yeah, me, you know. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but it's kind like of I what say, you were saying. Again, it's the yeah. template. Yeah, it's a template. All of a sudden, exactly. it's like your sound library comes alive, and you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, don't your brain is firing, yeah. even if you're not spending like those. Yeah, yeah. So there's an argument then. I mean, I thought I was just the guy that did that too, but you obviously do it too. So maybe there's an argument that um, by restricting yourself, not letting the well fill. Well, you, you, you might not end up. Going down, you might not end up. Sound, you, you might inherently stay sounding unique. Do you know what I mean? That's right. Yeah. Um, which could be it's the opposite. It could be the excuse of saying, "Well, we're lazy. <laughs> yes, we're coming for yes. the do." But, but for the romantic, I only sound like you. me, man. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, was, I don't practice because otherwise, yeah. <laughs> creative. <laughs> <It> was, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's true, isn't it? Like, yeah, man. Um, if you start giving away too many of your, um, so too much of your energy into like spontaneous moments and stuff. Yeah, or switching up your process, man. Yeah. And it's like, what's fun? Yeah. Like what really? What is fun? Like why? Like I'm, you know, you see some stuff and it's like oh, it just looks like a ball ache. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds incredible, but and and again for me, it's just going back. I play drums. I play drums to be in a band with my brother, a band called Swimming. That's the only reason I learned drums. Mm. And we played for years and released two records and we toured the hell out of it. And like only to play even not even in a band with his with him and his band. Mm. I never ever sat in the practice room. When I when I was trying to get in his band mm. when I was fourteen, I trust me, I spent hours and hours. But like so. after that, that wasn't my motivator. I, I I hated just playing on my own. Mm. And so again, but that, so that that is the thing is why do you do it? What do you get out of it? Mm. And for me, that structured thing, it's like you have to learn that it's okay to not do that. I'm mm. like, what's wrong with me? Why can't I practice? Why? Mm. So it's, like, it's all right. It's not like the way my brain works. My mm. brain is endlessly creating and writing top lines and yeah and stuff like that it's it's different and when you do do something if anyone like any of you are like us because this is very much a it's a relevant topic because some people feel like the desire they need to and if they don't then it's writer's block yeah, exactly you know? exactly yeah when it really ain't no. it, sometimes like uh to give you give yourself restriction yeah and then give your pennies worth then you do come up with some crazy crazy stuff contentment kicks in you're like yeah okay yeah cool you know, I love that feeling. I love yeah. that, uh, that feeling. And, I, you know, I, I do delve into doing videos and stuff like that, little viral stuff here and there. I mean, you know, at least once a month I throw one out or yeah, something, yeah. you know. Um, but 
uh, yeah, I just, I just, it just isn't in me to be like, here's this, here's this, here's this. Yeah. Like, I respect anyone that's got the, got the, uh, the power. To, yeah, yeah. To just be like doing that. Whole just time. keep chucking stuff out. Yeah, but it's, but you're like, you know, your stuff. What you mean? You've made albums as well. Yeah. It's like, um, you know, you're creating songs it's like it's an approach isn't it mm. so everything is just that little bit more not considered as again it's maybe like a reductive word for the other side but it's just like I, i'm i think pretty similarly it's like every sort of thing is like a bit of a considered creation 